Hi class, my name is Matthew Sokol and I want to welcome you to fall semester 2020. Uh, and I also want to welcome you to our course, Math 140 Statistics. I'm going to be your instructor for the course and I'm looking forward to working with you all over the next uh, 15 weeks. So what I want to do in this welcome video here is I just want to show you how your course is going to be structured and how you can find everything and answer a lot of frequently asked questions that you might have at the start of the class. Okay, so the first thing you're going to ask is, you know, how do I find my course? Well, you're going to log into Blackboard and you're going to scroll down till you see our course right here. And you're going to hop in and this is what our course is going to look like. So let me enter the student preview for you. Okay, so over here you're going to see all these different tabs for the course. First one is called Announcements. Um, this is where you're going to enter the course. So what you'll get from me every week is I'll post a weekly announcement for you. And basically what that announcement is, is it'll tell you, hey, these are, the, these are the things you need to complete by this week, or this is the topics we're covering. Um, I might, you might also get more than uh, one announcement a week, but I'll use it to post any relevant information for you. Um, but you should always make sure to read them, and I will also send them to your uh, email as well. Okay, the next tab over here is called Outline and Overview. When we click on this, this is where you'll find your course syllabus. So I want to click the course syllabus here, and I kind of want to just walk you through the course syllabus to start here. All right, as I said, my name is Matthew Sokol, I'll be your instructor for the course. Um, this is getting a little ahead, but one of our first assignments this week will be a, a discussion board where we introduce ourselves to each other. Um, I posted a little bit of a detailed bio there about myself. If you're curious about my background, you can read it there. Um, so my office hours and office location. So this semester, because we're remote with everything going on, uh, my office is going office hours are going to be held via Zoom. So the Zoom meeting link is posted in the classroom. So my office hours are Tuesday, 11 a.m. to 12:50 p.m., and Thursday, 10 a.m. to 12:50 p.m. So just quickly going back to the classroom. There's this tab here called office hours, and you click on that. So you can see here. Here's my Tuesday office hours. And here's my Thursday office hours. There's the link to the Zoom meeting room, okay? Um, the only thing I ask is if you want to meet with me um, during my office hours, you have to inform me via email. I'm not just going to load up Zoom and leave it open. Uh, even if it's just a 10 minutes head up before you wish to meet, I'm just going to always have my email open up during those hours. A lot of times students have questions via email and I, we can answer it that way. Um, and we'll use Zoom if you feel like I can't answer your questions via email. Um, so if you want to come meet with me via Zoom, that's great, no problem. Um, just shoot me that heads up email. All right, we have our, if you ever want to get in, speaking of email, the best way to get in contact with me, this is my work email right here. Um, I generally check it Monday through Friday and even a ton on the weekends. So if you email me, you will, you will get a response from me, usually within a couple hours, especially if it's during business hours. Um, if it's during my office hours, you'll get an email back from me within a couple minutes. Um, over the weekends, maybe just give me 24 hours. Our course website there, that's the website you use to log into Blackboard. So our textbook. Our textbook is called Introductory Statistics, and it's using the OpenStax platform. And what OpenStax is, it's a free online textbook. So going back to the classroom, there's this tab here called Textbook. L link right down here is our text. And it opens you up to what looks like a, a detailed website. And over here, you can click. You can see the table of contents. You can download a PDF. You can even click to order a hard copy. Um, you know, through Amazon, I think a hard copy is thirty-three fifty, which is really cheap for a textbook. Um, but I find that the web is 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 really good. So the website is just as fine. All right, going back to our course syllabus. Uh, you will need a graphing calculator for this course, um, a TI-83 or TI-84 or higher, and we're going to be using our graphing calculator started the second week of class. What you're going to notice is a lot of times I'm going to introduce a topic to you, like let me give you an example, talking about how you find the median of a data set, so the middle data value. So I'm going to show you how to do it by hand, and then you know in the real world we use technology to, to, to find this stuff, so then I show you how to use your graphing calculator to do this. Um, I'll also show, there'll be videos and lectures on how to use Microsoft Excel too for some of the stuff. Um, that's optional. Um, Excel's a great tool to know and learn, so I'll, I'll have that in our lectures in a bit too. 
Okay, so our course description. So I don't want to read through it in too much detail, but I just want to read the first sentence here. So this is a general introduction to statistical methods for students in all academic disciplines. And I'll let you read the rest of the course syllabus and topic outline on your own. But what I love about statistics is this is the one math course that is transferable to every field of study that you would go into. Psychology, education, chemistry, biology, engineering, they all use statistical methods. So this course is a fantastic introduction to that. And it's my favorite math course to teach. As you scroll down through the course syllabus, you see a course schedule here, and we will be sticking to this schedule very, very strictly. Um, we won't deviate it from one bit, so you'll, each week you'll know exactly what topics we're covering. Um, you know, the first three weeks of the class here correspond to section one of the class. You can read about this, and then you know this goes into section two, and so on. Um, there's a lot of great topics, a lot of fun, all of them uh, transferable to the real world. Okay, but what you're probably most interested in right now is how your grade will be determined. Okay, so there's two components to your grade here. There are what are called weekly assignments and exams. Okay, so what the heck are weekly assignments? So if you look at our course schedule, there's 15 weeks. So you're going to have 15 what I call quote-unquote weekly assignments in this course. And each of these is worth 30 points. So assignments will be assigned weekly in our online classroom, even starting in week one. The first of these assignments is a class, what I call welcome discussion. The remaining assignments will be a mix of short online assessments. Um, these are work to be completed in Blackboard, uh, while others will require to download a data set and perform a statistical procedure on that data set. So the remaining 14 assignments are gonna be a mix of different types. It just really depends on the week and what assessment will best help you learn the material. Okay, so all work that you have to resubmit to me in Blackboard should have the following file formats. It should be a PDF, a Word doc, an Excel file, or if you need to take pictures, it should be a JPEG file. Should you submit a file that I cannot open, uh, like a pages, like a dot pages, like a, um, uh, what is that, an Apple or Mac file, I can't open that. I'm just going to give you a zero on the assignment. You know that now. Don't do that. Save it as a PDF and submit it to me. Okay, these weekly, these weekly assignments will open weekly on Monday and be due the Sunday of that week. So for example, the week one assignment is due Sunday 9 slash 6, and the week two assignment is due Sunday 9 slash 13, and so on. Okay, since these assignments will be open for an entire week, I will not accept any late work. That being said, extenuating, extenuating circumstances will be considered. Um, if you were to be taking statistics in person and not online, you would be in lecture four hours a week. I try to make it so that my online lectures, the reading and the uh, weekly assignments that you complete are take no more than four to five hours a week. Okay, uh, the lectures um, are all pre-recorded for you. I'll show you that in a bit as we go through the classes. And then the week weekly assignments are really just there to, to help you master the material. All right, exams. There'll be two exams in this class, a midterm exam and a final exam. Each of these exams is worth 100 points. All right, so information on the exams is following. The midterm exam will cover all topics in section one, two, and three of the class, or chapters one, two, three, four, and 12. The final exam will cover all topics from sections four and five of the class, or chapters six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, these exams are gonna be take-home exams, but will have to be completed over a certain time period. So the midterm exam will open up during week seven of the class, okay? And the final exam will open up during week 15 of the class. You can see the dates there. You must have the midterm exam turned in by Sunday 1018, and the final exam must be turned in by Monday uh, 12 slash 21. No late exams will be accepted for any reason. Okay, if you choose to wait until Sunday to complete like the midterm and something comes up, even if it's your internet going out, that was a risk you took, okay? So again, extenuating circumstances we, will be considered, and, my, and I have the uh, discretion to allow for a makeup exam of some type. Okay, so here's how your numerical grades will be determined. Um, I will take, calculate them by dividing the total points earned on all assignments by the total points possible. So there's 450 total points on, ex, on weekly assessments. They're 30 points each. They count for 69% of your grade. There's two exams, <clears throat> um, each worth 100 points, and they're worth 31% of your overall grade for a total of 650 points. So let's say you have 500 total points. I'll take 500, divide it by the 650 total, You'll have a 77 average there, and I'll give you a C plus in the class. 
that's exactly how your grade will be determined. All right, let's go back to the classroom for a second. <clears throat> so where's the course content? Where are the course lectures? Well, if you click the next tab called course content, this is where you'll be spending most of your time. And when you start the class, you'll notice there's only one folder open, week one with the corresponding dates. Let me just exit preview for a second. What you can see is, is there'll be a folder for each week of the class and then a folder for the midterm and for the final. And what will happen is, is the folders will open up, okay, the, basically the Sunday night before the week starts. So week two, for example, I'll open the folder up um, nine, six at night, okay. So let me just show you what each folder looks like, all right. Each folder will contain the exact same type of format. So when you click on week one, there'll be a quick overview here for you. Um, uh, just kind of telling you what we're going to cover and then there'll be two tab two folders here one called the lectures for the week and one called the assignment so when you click on the the folder for the lecture okay there'll be another introduction to what we're talking about there'll be a link to the textbook sections we're covering so okay for week one please review sections 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 of the textbook but the best way to learn um, is I will have lectures for you for every topic that would that I'm going to cover for the week and for everything that would be assessed on one of the weekly assignments. So for example, the course introduction and overview. If you click on lecture number one here, there's a P, there's a PowerPoint for that for that lecture. You can download that and you can see exactly what I'm going to talk about in my video. And then when you click on the tab for this, There'll be a quick introduction to what I'm going to talk about in that lecture. And then there'll be a link here to a file or a video that I've recorded. So let me just show you what it sounds like. Hi class, welcome to Statistics. My name is Matthew Sokol and I'll be and hopefully you can hear me talking here over the coming weeks. And what I want to do in this video here is I want to let me go back, you know, for example, when we want to talk about uh, data types here, there's a P there's a, a PowerPoint file for it. A little little written lecture on it and then finally a video that I've recorded in this on. lecture we want counts okay another way and so what I try to do with each video is I try to keep each lecture here somewhere between 5 and 20 minutes I try not to go over 20 minutes that sometimes gets a little too long um, but you should watch every lecture that I have posted for the week then once you've watched all the lectures and read any corresponding sections in the textbook, you're ready to take the week, go to the week one assignments folder. Here you'll see whatever your um, weekly assignment is here. So for example, for our first week of class, it's a welcome forum. Um, you know, kind of just tell us what classes you're taking, why you're taking statistics, what your major is, um, that you've you know, read the course syllabus and a little pe extra piece of information about you, and then how your grade will be determined. On top of that, you'll, you'll see something called the week one knowledge check. Every week I will have this, I will have these non-graded quizzes for you. And basically what they are is to just test that you've kind of mastered the concepts from the week. So when you click on it, you know, just uh, multiple choice, you know, bunch of questions for you. You can save and submit and they'll tell you the answers. Um, it's just to see if you've really absorbed the, the material. So these, let me go back to that. Every week you'll have one of these knowledge checks. Un, they're non-graded, they're just for you to master the material and then complete whatever assignment is posted there. Okay, going back, we talked about office hours. WCC help, here's a link to a bunch of different um, you know, resources for the campus. If you ever want to shoot me an email, click on email your professor, click on send email. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to email all instructors here. Okay. If you click on all users, you'll send an email to everybody in the class. Or if you prefer, just send me an email directly to this matthew.sokol at sunywcc.edu. And then there's a tab here that you can see your grades throughout the course you know, as they are, as they get posted. All right, well, that's the course really, really quickly. I'm sure there'll be a lot more questions that you might have. Um, please feel free to email me and I look forward to working with you all in the coming weeks.